Hi there, in this video I would like to just go through a simple um, vector database application that runs on Langflow. So obviously Langflow is a, a IDE that, that um, sits on top of Langchain. So you can consider Langchain as the pro code version and Langflow as the no code to, to low code version. So in Langflow you've got a list of components here on the left hand side which you can drag and drop and connect to uh, to each other to create an application um, the, it can be daunting and abstract to create applications um, initially uh, gen apps or large language model based applications um, langflow does have a a marketplace or example flows you can start off with um, so in this application, I want to use the web-based loader and in here I've got a reference to a World War II Wikipedia article. So the idea of this demo is to access a URL, to gather and parse that information from the URL, um, create embeddings. Um, so embeddings is really just a semantic representation of each word's relation to each other. Um, and, th and load that into this Chroma um, vector store or vector database. And then we want to use a vector store agent and the Cohere large language model to ask natural language based questions um, in general, seeing we're using the Cohere um, large language model, or questions specific to our um, topic, which is World War II, which we reference via this Wikipedia URL. So once you've connected your uh, different components, you will see the status of the co components can be green, uh, red, or yellow. So as you complete information, that the status of that component changes from yellow, uh, from red to, to, to yellow, or orange and to green. Um, for the Hugging Face, if you currently, if you run Hugging Face within Hugging Face Spaces, there's no API required. I installed uh, Langflow locally and then you need an API uh, to be entered here. Obviously you need to enter an AP API for your um, Cohere um, large language model connector or, or, or component. Um, and basically you need to add a description in here for a vector store as well. And the, the, the vector uh, for the vector store info component, the, the vector Database do take a while to load, so that's depending on how many uh, how, you know how many records you you load, and also you could exceed in terms of the large language model, especially in the case of Cohere, you could exceed the um, the maximum amount of API calls, and at the end sits our vector store um, agent. I wanted to run this application and test it for myself because um, most uh, most examples make use of OpenAI for embeddings and for, for the LLM. And in this case, I wanted to make use of the Hugging Face embeddings and also of the Cohere large language model. If you're looking for more detail, I'll post a link in the comments to this uh, Medium post I wrote on the, on the topic combining Hugging Face embeddings. Um, uh, models with Cohere with, with Langflow. I, I give a, a basic um, overview of how to install Langflow on Mac OS um, and if you can get a terminal window running, a command prompt running on Windows you can also install locally. Um, the, the version that currently runs on, on Hugging Face Spaces is version 8.0 I noticed that version 8.1 is available um, if you do a fresh install. So I've got all the commands here, how to create a virtual environment, um, how to activate your virtual environment, install on the virtual environment, and eventually delete it. And I step through the whole process on um, where you add the components, what to look for, and at the end we have a conversation. And on purpose, I asked an amb ambiguous uh, question who are part of the Security Council and that's a very hard question, very ambiguous if there's no context. So obviously um, our um, chatbot that relies on the vector database 
that sourced the information from a specific URL uh, knew that this question pertains to the Second World War and it could answer the question within that within that context. Um, but I'll 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 leave a link in the comments to this article. Right, thank you so much.